What is going on lads? What's the crack? Welcome back to another player pack review. Today we're taking a look at the epic AC Milan pack that dropped. Now we have had Inzaghi before but Nesta coming back is a big one because this card of Nesta, the epic card, is extremely good. We'll show you him in a second but we are going to have 150 cards here as usual with this epic pack and you're going to have a mixture of players. There's some good players in there, Liao, Odegaard, uh, Havertz, Koke, Hernandez, you know, Zeko, Tomori. There's a load of players in here that seems to be a lot of a, a mix of players. Uh, Tenali's in there, Ibra's in there. But yeah, the three big pa big picks here are Inzaghi, Dida, and Nesta. So we are going to take a look at their stats, obviously, um, and get into what they kind of like, what they're going to play like. Will they be meta? Will they be guys that you can get into your end game team? Inzaghi is an extremely intriguing one, lads, right? Because first off the bat, obviously these cards are going to have B rating and they're going to have 90 playstyle proficiency across the board, as we know. If you're new to the channel, check out some of my older videos. But yeah, I mean, we know what we're going to be getting now with the Epic players, the Legend players, and the Player of the Week players, where we're going to have team playstyle proficiency max, that you can literally put, put these in to any squad, any formation, any team playstyle or tactics, link up with any manager perfectly. You don't need to waste any points on training them up. So that's going to be huge. Also with these epic cards, you are going to have B rating, which will mean that your player is going to be up on a player form arrow up more often than not. Now in Zaggy, lads, right? What intrigues me about in Zaggy is that he does have a lovely mix of player skills coupled with 37 levels that you can train up, which is huge. Now... Inzaghi is a difficult player to kind of um, to kind of suggest because it does depend on your play style. I mean, I've had conversations with people where they say, you know, oh, this guy is really good, this guy is terrible, this guy is whatever. Uh, I mean, you're just looking. I'm just looking at the basic stats here and what he can develop into. And Inzaghi does have some insane stats, as you see there, right? Player skill wise, we're talking about he's got long range shooting, he's got heading, he's got rising shot, he's got first time shot, and he has acrobatic finishing. So they're going to be a lovely mixture of, you know, animations that you're able to get onto pretty much any ball that comes in, whether it's in the air, whether it's at a volley, uh, whether it's along the ground. On top of that then as well, bringing him in and doing one touch passing and ping pong passing and tri like triangles and touch and goes and run ons and all that. He does have one touch pass. He does have outside curler. And of course, he has the super sub, which is a game changer if you are going to be bringing him on in the second half. He is probably the perfect sub to bring on in the like 65th, 70th minute onwards. He doesn't have bundles of stamina. He's not the fastest, although when we train him up over on eFootballDB.com, you are going to see that this guy's got insane stats, right? So speaking of which, we do have Inzaghi maxed out. As I said, lads, this uh, website will be getting a brand new overhaul. The guys are working on it at the moment to make it more in line with eFootball 2023. It looks class. I've seen a preview of it. It looks way, way nicer, way cleaner, way more easier on the, the eyes in terms of the UI and knowing where to go. But anyway, right, Inzaghi, we have him maxed out here. This is him at level 37, and he's got 84 speed, 80 ex 84 acceleration. This is how we've chosen to, to, to kind of um, max him out and to train him up. 92 offensive awareness, 90 finishing, 81 header. His dribble is a bit of a concern, but again, you're just going to be turning and using this guy similarly in a way that you would use Haaland. You know, you're going to be using him. Uh, he's not going to be leading the line like Mbappe or a Mario or a Manegi who were able to get the ball at their feet and literally just dribble. Um, you know, you're not going to be using him like that. You're, look, you're looking to use this guy as a complete finisher. And as I said, 90 finishing, 81 header, 83 kicking power and 85 stamina. Top that up with his 84 speed and acceleration. You've got an insane super sub here. So I'd be very happy if I got in Zaggy. Um, he is a really good player to have at your disposal. So moving on to his teammates. Who else are on here? We have got Dida. I won't spend as much time on Dida because even though he is a really, really good player, I always say it, there is a lot of good goalkeepers in the game at the moment. Now, he does have low punt, long throw, and penalty saver, which is which is very handy. He also, of course, has that B rating, and he is going to have the, the play style proficiency, which is very important as well. But it's more so about what he maxes out at, right? So when we actually go over to Football DB, we will see here that he maxes out down here at 93 reflexes, 87 reach, uh, 84 uh, parrying, 
84, 88 catch and an 82 awareness. Again, he doesn't have unwavering form, so I would definitely still recommend Donnarumma above him. Um, they're similar players, similar height, similar everything, similar physique. Um, I definitely would recommend him. I mean, a lot of people ask me about uh, Manuel Neuer. I just think Neuer always does mistakes whenever I play against him. I never really worry. Once I beat Neuer once and you kind of keep the ball low, uh, you can beat him. But Donnarumma, man, I just find Donnarumma the best keeper in the game. And I've played, you know, over, what, 250, 300 hours of the game now across different profiles. And I have him on every account that I have on Xbox and on PS5. Um, and he's insane. So again, if you do spin Dida, yeah, he is an in-game level goalkeeper. Um, and obviously stats don't tell the whole picture. Sometimes you could have an 85 rated goalkeeper that could be absolutely insane. But I do think that there are better keepers out there. So while Dida is a good, you know, a good co-op for you, if you do get him, I do think that, you know, I wouldn't be devastated if you don't get him. And then last but not least, we do have the pick of them is probably Nesta. Now Nesta is a very intriguing one as well, because this is what I think these cards should be. These cards should be, they should be balanced to a free-to-play player that, you know, it doesn't automatically mean that if I pump in 500 quid and I get every epic, every legend and every player of the week from, you know, last May or June until now and I continue to buy every club pack, train all the players, max them out, everything, you still have to be able to compete with the, the standard players that you can buy for GP. And I think that they have done that this way. I think that that they've even changed the playstyle proficiency here to give these players more of an advantage. Um, because, for example, when I got my Romario and I got my Patrick Vieira, I had to train up their playstyle proficiency. And I lost probably maybe about seven or eight points where I could slot them in. So um, I do think that the Epic players do have a slightly more advantage. But there is always a GP alternative. But looking at Nesta's stats here, man, like he has got everything you could possibly want. Like absolutely insane stats. It's Nesta as well at the end of the day, right? It is Nesta. He's going to be a monster. He's got heading. He's got man marking, interception, blocker, aerial superiority, sliding tackle, and acrobatic clearance. He's got every defensive player skill you could possibly want. He's also on top of that, got one touch pass, captaincy, and fighting spirit. So let me tell you, lads, he is going to be a monster. Trust me on that. He is going to be a monster. If you get him, you're talking Beckenbauer level end game uh, player uh, that you can have in your team forever basically you know because he is going to be in game i think absolutely insane player we obviously have the standard form which is a pity i would have definitely thought that he would have got on un unwavering form of all the players of all the players in this the tree i would have definitely picked him but when we go over to efootballdb.com we are going to see what he maxes out at which is a whopping 97 defensive awareness 91 engagement 96 tackling 76 speed 81 heading and 71 low pass, 83 physical contact and 82 stamina. We don't really need to worry about the dribbling, the tight possession, the low pass. Yeah, they're a luxury if you are getting defenders, you know, like Martinez from United. He can play it out from the back. Varane as well can play it out from the back. Um, Mark Bartra is another one that can play it out from the back. But in terms of your defenders, man, all you really need your defenders to do is block shots, block chances going in, block everything. So... Yeah, that is it for me. If you are looking for an alternative, and as I said about the GP, for 420,000 GP, you could get Ruben Diaz from Man City, who is practically, I won't say identical, but they're very similar height, very similar weight, um, both right-footed, very similar play styles, a lot of the same play, uh, player skills and all that sort of stuff. Obviously, Diaz doesn't have the speed or acceleration, but you don't really notice it, notice it this much. Um, I have Diaz. He is a monster, lads. He's absolutely insane. Um, he is on B form this week, and he has unwavering form, which is always good. Obviously, there are better versions of him from different packs and stuff, but this one is, is, is good. The standard card goes up to a 92 overall, 94 awareness, 94 aggression, and 90 tackling. So he actually has better aggression, which is always good for winning the ball back. So that is it for the AC Milan player pack review, lads. I'll be back quite soon. Let me know what you guys think, whether you guys will spin or skip. I will talk to you later. Peace.